Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Ruby and something a little bit different for you guys today. So at this point, I have seen the Volume 3 soundtrack, I have seen the Volume 3 World of Remnants, and before I jump into Volume 4, um, you guys have let me know that there is a character short, um, about five minutes long, I believe focusing on Ruby, that is kind of important to see before moving on to Volume 4. So I have no clue what it's going to be about. I'm assuming it's just going to be a little prologue, maybe um, showing a little bit about like the journey that we know they kind of started going on. Um, her and team Juniper at the end of volume three. I honestly have no clue. I guess there's character shorts for different characters on the show and they're to be watched at different times. So um, this one I believe is supposed to be watched before volume four is what you guys have been telling me. So um, I just want to say volume three was incredible. It's still it's like one of those things that when I think about it it just it feels like it feels like a tender part of my heart that's like never gonna fully heal, you know? Um, I just, I love the show before that and it just went in a direction that was so, like, I, I should have known it was coming because it's like they told me a million times it was coming, but it's still just, um, it blindsided me in the best way. And I'm just, if I was like 100% on board before, I'm like 1000% on board now. Um, and I, I as much as it hurts to think about the things that happened, um, I, I cannot wait to see where we're going to go from here. I'm like scared, but excited. And um, as you guys can imagine, I'm, I'm just really getting like crazy um, anticipating volume four now because um, it's it's been like a few weeks now because I haven't been able to film um, the World of Remnant and soundtrack and everything in the same week. I kind of been like stretching it out more just because of like schedule stuff on my end. Um, so with this, this is the last thing I'll be watching before volume four. So for reals this time, the next time I see you will be volume four. So what do you say we go ahead and jump in and watch this character short? Let's go. Great, it looks better like every time. There's the moon, there's the moon. Who broke the moon? Who broke the moon? Fess up. Oh my God. Oh, this village being ravaged. It's being ravaged by Grim. Let's do this, let's do this Ruby. Yes, use use the use them to your advantage and then bye bye. What was that statue? That was so freaking cool. Ruby. Mike Whoa, look at her outfit. She's got a new outfit. Look at her outfit, you guys. Oh my girl. Oh my girl, yes. Show us those silver eyes. Dang. It's just a beautiful dance. Look at look at how much better the animation looks too. Like it gets like even better. Oh, she looks so good. The animation and also her new look. I love how she's just like taking on all these Grim by herself. The whole like legendary warrior thing makes a lot of sense now. Uh oh, uh oh. Careful. Oh no. Oh, oh, Ruby, be careful. Oh no. Oh. Oh, he's the, oh, is he, oh, is he like a gorilla grim? He kind of, it's the whole beating the chest thing. Oh, 
no, look at look at the animation. I know I keep saying that, but like there's something that's so much more detailed about her face now. There's like more definition. I don't know, I can't really Ah, she's like, she's got this. Uh, I mean, she's not having a very hard time, despite being up against some very scary looking grins. I'm, I'm all about, I'm all about the, the, the battle corset to go with the battle skirt. I think it's looking very good. Ruby. Ruby. Who, well, I wonder who the statues are supposed to be. Oh, is she faking him out right now? She better be alright, so help me. Look at the, like, the way that the eyes... Oh, 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 oh. Is she gonna come bursting out of there? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I love how they show her bursting out of the, the spherical window against the, the shattered moon backdrop. That was very cool. And there she goes. Look at, look at, look at this. That music though. Oh, I love how she like shot him while impaling him. Ruby, we saw yes. smoke. Head in your way. Don't start without us. You better hurry. Uh huh. Oh, oh my. Oh, guys, we got some stuff. We got some stuff ahead, don't we? <gasps> Why? <gasps> Play. Where's it? Oh, yo. Oh. She left her bed. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. That she, maybe she, she wants some fresh air. S still no arm, though. All right, guys. Um... It just really goes to show the show that they can give me five minutes and in five minutes they have told me a story they have blown my mind and they have just like completely captured like completely engaged me in five minutes visuals music story everything um also this kind of style kind of goes back to the trailers that they can do that with very little dialogue like there was no dialogue in that right to the end and then there was like a few sentences um it just really goes to show how good the storytelling style is on this show um okay let's start at the beginning ruby's new outfit is that gonna be her new outfit is that like her new look um or was that just something just for the short or will we only see it temporarily? I'm really kind of hoping it's a new outfit. I think it looks amazing. Um, I love it. It's a much more, there's something about it that looks um, a little bit more darker and mature. And it really fits with the tone of like, obviously everything that's happened and where we're going. Briefly saw our other girls, um, you know, not really indicating where they're at or anything. Although it's kind of a good sign that Yang was outside. I was kind of afraid she was like, just not gonna leave her bed. You know, that's kind of like where we were at at the end of volume three. It looked like she was just like, now that doesn't mean she's necessarily in a good mental place, but I'm very proud of her that she went out to get some fresh air. So, um, so that is, I would say, let's just call it a positive. Um, but yeah, the our, our rest of our girls are just like displaced right now and, and we've got to deal with that. Um, so this is um, an adventure that is happening while Ruby is traveling with uh, Team Juniper. So we know that from the end. Um, and I'm guessing they're just like on their way, just stopping at villages that are in trouble and helping. And I gotta say, Ruby, Ruby held her own pretty darn well. Um, but I don't think there's gonna be any shortage of grim for the four of them to fight together um so all right um that's that's where we're at 
Um, I, I'm sad that everyone's like still displaced, but like, of course they weren't going to show us any resolution about that in, um, the short, but I am loving the new look. I'm loving the animation every time, like every time they take a break on the show of any kind, they just come back with like a better look. They just come back with like better everything. They're just like a fine wine. It's like, it's better over time. <laughs> it's better with age. Um... All right, guys, here we go. And even like, I couldn't really tell, but even just like the, the designs for John, Nora, and Ren looked a little bit different. I couldn't quite tell with like Weiss, and we only saw the back of Blake and Yang. It's just really hard to tell. It's it's really hard to tell from just like the little the little bits that we got, but like definitely the animation looks different. Um, so, all right, um, here we go, volume four. So for real this time, the next time I see you will be volume four. So please join me, guys. I love that. I'm so glad I checked it out. Nice little way to whet my appetite uh, before jumping into volume four. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time for volume four, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.